Hello, and welcome to this edition of the Angels and Destiny show. Why is this show called This You May Ask? So I'll tell you. The accepted meaning of angel is messenger, and the accepted meaning of destiny is to make firm established. So my guests and I bring you messages to establish what you need to know in the present. Also, I like working with angels and the calmness they bring. Now, as you kind of like guess, this week I'm not live and I don't actually have a guest with me. Um, but I will be doing you a guided meditation for you to go and meet your guardian angel. But before that, I would like to say thank you for watching the show. Um, and it means a lot to me to connect with like-minded women. If you've never met me before, then my name is Ray and I help women at crossroads in their life, fill their paths, create their future, transform their present so they can take control of their destiny in the here and now. I'm the founder of Radiant Angel Energy and I use angelic Reiki, future life progression, past life regression, meditation, angel cards and hypnosis to help women who feel lost get clear on their destiny. I've also created a transformational journey to help you take charge of your destiny. Now, each episode of the show covers various themes of your journey. Um, as I said, normally I have guests with me, but today um, I couldn't do live, so I don't have a guest. So I'm going to, as I said, do a guided angel meditation. Now, if we, you, we are watching this now um, or at a later date, then please hit the like love button as I can still get hearts and thumbs flashing across the screen. And if you're watching this on my YouTube channel, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe to it so that you can get updates on all recordings. Um, now you can also ask questions and leave comments, um, which I will get back to you um, as, soon as, I, as soon as I can. So um, what I need you to do first of all is with all things, is to make yourself comfortable. Make sure that you're not going to be disturbed in any ways, the television's off, your phones are on silent. Talking of which, must remember, I need to put my phone on silent. I'll do that now. So whilst you're putting your phones on silent or you are closing the door and making sure no one disturbs you. Yeah, that's my phone done. So what I need you to do now is uh, make sure you've got um, some water or tea or something just to drink once the meditation is over so that you are fully grounded. Now, if all that's done and you're not going to be disturbed and you're ready, just sit down and get very comfortable. Now, you don't have to sit cross-legged or sit in any particular poses. And if you feel the need to scratch, or move, then please do. All you need to do is just keep your eyes closed um, and just stay in the space in the meditation. Oops, sorry darling. Um, and then you'll be absolutely fine. And as you can see, we have a cat join us. Um, Travis, you only ever get to see her towel. You actually get to see her face, but never mind. So if you're ready now, just close your eyes and take a deep breath. And as you do, just allow yourself to completely relax. Give yourself total permission to relax. Just allow every in-breath to relax you and every out-breath to release anything that doesn't need to be here at this time. Just breathe in and out. Just allowing each breath to relax you more and more. That's good. Just breathe in and out. Each breath relaxing you more and more. Now I want you to see, feel, imagine or know a beautiful golden light above your head. It's a beautiful golden light of relaxation and safety. And just allow this light to fill your aura, to fill your physical body, to fill you mentally, emotionally, physically, 
in this dimension, in all dimensions, this beautiful golden light of relaxation and safety. Allow it to fill every single cell and every membrane and every gap between every cell and every membrane. And now see, feel, imagine or know this beautiful golden light moving into your head, your whole head relaxing, totally relaxing. It's this beautiful golden relaxation moves into your brow and your temples, back of your head, your cheeks, your nose, your eyes, your eyelids feeling so heavy and relaxed. This beautiful relaxing energy moves down into your cheeks and your jaw. As you feel your jaw muscles totally relaxing. There's this beautiful relaxing golden energy moves down into your neck. You feel the back of your neck relax, the sides of your neck front of your neck and your throat, just totally relaxing. As this beautiful golden energy now moves down into your shoulders, as you feel your shoulders start to relax. Just like warm sunshine massaging your shoulders, how wonderfully relaxed you feel. This beautiful golden relaxing energy moves down into your upper arms, your elbows, your lower arms, your wrists, your hands and your fingers. Toe to relaxing. Maybe your arms feeling heavy and relaxed. As this beautiful golden relaxing energy moves into your upper body. As you feel your whole chest area relax. And you feel your stomach muscles totally relax. As this beautiful relaxing energy moves into your back. And your whole back just relaxes, your spine relaxes, vertebrae by vertebrae by vertebrae. As this beautiful relaxing energy moves down into your hips, your pelvis, your buttocks, allowing you to sink deeper down into your seat, deeper down into relaxation. As this beautiful relaxing energy now moves down into your thighs, your knees, your calves, your shins, your ankles, your feet and your toes, all feeling so relaxed, totally relaxed. And now as you're feeling totally relaxed, I want you to see, feel, imagine or know yourself standing at the top of a beautiful staircase. It's a staircase of your own design and making and can look, see, feel, imagine any way you wish. And in a moment, you're going to walk down 10 safe, wide, comfortable steps to a doorway.
So now get ready as you take the first step down, 10, going further down the staircase, nine, deeper down the staircase, eight, deeper down the staircase, seven, deeper down the staircase, six, so relaxed and safe and calm. Deeper down the staircase, five. Deeper down the staircase, four. Each step down, just relaxing you more and more. Deeper down the stairs, three. Going deeper down the stairs, two all the way down the stairs one as you take that step off the bottom step and you see in front of you a door a door of your own design and making and again it can look see feel imagine any way you wish now if the door is locked you can unlock it the door is unlocked, you can open it. The door is open and you can step right through. And as you do, you turn back to face the door. Now this is your doorway. And you are the only person who can ever come in and out. So you may decide to leave the door open. You may close the door or you may close and lock the door. The choice is yours. And as you turn back round, you find yourself in a beautiful ancient forest. It's a forest of the most magnificent trees you've ever known. Ancient tall trees full of wisdom and knowledge. You feel so safe and secure in this forest. And you may notice the sunlight coming through the leaves of the trees, making the forest seem lively and bright. And you may notice gaps between the trees where beautiful flowers are growing. You may hear or see birds or insects or butterflies, maybe little animals scurrying about. And there may be a gentle breeze just gently rustling the leaves. So safe, calm and relaxed it feels in this beautiful forest. And as you look down, you see that there is a beautiful crystal palm. Again, it's a crystal path of your own design and making. And it may be filled with one type of crystal or many crystals. This is your pathway and it's the path that's leading you from the door through the forest to the space where you're going to meet your guardian angel and that this path will bring you back to the door when the time is right. So if you're ready now, let's start walking along this crystal path. Walking along this crystal path through this beautiful ancient forest going deeper and deeper into the forest along this path. Beautiful breeze, maybe birds or insects, smells of flowers or of woodland. As each step you take along your path, deeper and deeper into the forest, 
just relaxes you more and more, going further along your path, deeper into the forest, totally relaxed, going deeper and deeper into the forest, feeling so safe and secure. Beautiful majestic trees all around you with the sun coming through leaves in the tree. And as you get further and further into the forest, you are so relaxed and comfortable and safe and calm. Such a beautiful, wonderful feeling. And you know that this feeling will stay with you as you go deeper and deeper into the forest. And as you get further and deeper into the forest, you notice that you are coming to a clearing as you get closer to that clearing, you realize there's a circle of trees around a beautiful large oak tree. An oak tree that when you look at it, you just know is as ancient as time. So full of knowledge and wisdom. And you notice that the grass around the oak tree in the middle of this circle of trees is a beautiful velvety green colour. Though it's grass, it feels and looks like a carpet. Beautiful velvet green grass. And you step onto it and walk towards this beautiful oak tree. And as you get closer, you realize that a couple of the roots are coming out out of the ground. And they look like arms of a chair. And you notice how soft and green this looks between the two roots of the trees. It's two roots that look just like arms of a chair. So you settle yourself down between these two roots with your back resting against this beautiful wise oak tree. And you sit there enjoying the peace and the quiet and the stillness. Maybe the silence is broken every now and again by a bird or insect, or the rustling of the leaves. But you know, these are beautiful relaxing sounds that just help you relax deeper and deeper and deeper. And you just sit there gazing into the distance. It's allowing yourself to relax. And gain strength, the knowledge and wisdom from this oak tree that you can feel pulsating its beautiful grounding energy into you. And I'll just leave you for a moment to enjoy this feeling of safety, calmness and relaxation. And now as you sit there, you suddenly feel a warmth of energy around you warmth of unconditional love just fills you completely. It's like you're being bathed in beautiful unconditional love. 
And as you do, you're aware of an energy around you, safe, loving, kind energy. And you realize that this is your guardian angel. And your guardian angel may appear to you just as energy, as a feeling, a knowing, as an image. It may be of an angel with beautiful big wings. Or it may be the image of a person or an animal. Just know that this is how your guardian angel has decided to come to you today. And if you don't see anything, just allow the feeling of unconditional love to fill you as this is your guardian angel with you. Sometimes they come to us, obviously, in an obvious form. But sometimes they just come to us as unconditional love. And in a moment, I'm going to leave you to spend some time with your guardian angel. If you want, you can ask your guardian angel its name. And just accept the first name, no matter how silly or strange or plain it may seem. And you're also going to be able to communicate with your angel. You'll be able to ask them questions and receive the answers. The answers may come as thoughts or images, words, sounds or smells. And if you don't get any communication, that's fine. Maybe now is not the time to speak to your guardian angel, but just to enjoy their beautiful energy. So I'll leave you now to communicate with your guardian angel and ask any questions, receive any answers that you wish.
And in a moment, it's going to be time for your guardian angel to leave you. So if there's any last minute questions that you need to ask, then ask them now. And now it's time for your guardian angel to leave you in this beautiful forest. But before they do, they're going to leave you with a gift. It may be something physical, like an object. It may be a thought, a word, a smell, a sound, or just a knowing or that feeling of unconditional love. And as they give you this gift, you open your heart and thank them with your heart for coming and spending the time with you and for the gift they have given. And you know that Although you met your guardian angel today in this forest, that you can meet and speak to your guardian angel any time you wish. So now they start to fade away from you until the energy goes, but you still feel a sense of unconditional love around you. you thank the mighty oak tree with your heart allowing you to sit there between its roots grounding with its beautiful knowledge as you now stand up and you walk out of the clearing back onto your crystal path as you start walking along the crystal path, back through the woods towards your door, back through this forest of ancient trees, rustling leaves, the sun coming through the leaves, birds or insects or little animals and flowers. As you make your way back along your crystal path, and before you know it, you are back at your doorway. Now if you locked your door, you can unlock it. The door is unlocked, you can open it. The door is open, you can step right through. And now you turn back and face your door. And as before, you have a choice. You can leave the door open, you can close the door, or you can close and lock the door. Just remember that this is your door and you are the only person, the only energy who will ever walk in and out of this door. So now you turn back round and face your staircase. And in a moment, I'm going to count from one to 10 as you climb the staircase. And with each ascending number, you come fully back to the present, fully back into your body in the here and now. 
but in remembering your journey and any gifts or messages or words you were given, especially that feeling of unconditional love. So ready now, start walking up the stairs. One, two, three, four, coming all the way back. Five, six, seven, eight, fully back into your body, fully aware, fully knowing where you are. Nine, start to wiggle fingers and toes. 10, open your eyes, you're fully back, fully present, fully in the here and now. If need be, drink some water, stretch, make sure you are fully back and fully aware. Welcome back. So, how did you find that? Now, obviously, this isn't live, so I can't ask you here an answer straight away. But please, you know, comment on here um, if you're happy to about your journey. You know, ask if there's any questions about your journey that you want answered, please um, leave the comments here and I will answer them as soon as I possibly can. Now, obviously, just take it easy for the next half hour or so, just to make sure you're fully back, fully present. Drink lots of water or tea or anything that will make sure you're grounded and you're and you're fully back. So I hope everyone you've enjoyed this and found it insightful and that you got to meet your guardian angel if you didn't already know, got to know their name, maybe any messages or gifts or that feeling of unconditional love. And the thing is you can always call on your guardian angel at any time you wish. You know, when you wake up in the morning, you say good morning to your guardian angel. When you go to bed, you can say good night to your guardian angel. If you need any help during the day, ask your guardian angel. They always want to help us, but they can't do anything without us asking them. You know, we have to ask them to help us, and they do want us to, to ask them to help. So don't feel that, oh my God, I'm asking my guardian angel, this, 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 this. Ask if they can answer, they will answer it for you. And they may answer it with thoughts, random words or stories coming into your mind. A song may come on as an answer. You may suddenly see a picture or a book or something flash past, car, number plate, you know. The angels will communicate to us in any way to try and get our attention and they will always answer our questions. We just have to look out for the answers because it's quite easy for us to miss those answers. And if you didn't get a name, then no worries. Another way to actually get your guardian angel's name is just before you go to bed, just get yourself nice and relaxed and just ask your guardian angel, Guardian Angel, what is your name? And the first name that comes to your mind, no matter what it is, will be the name of your angel. And if it doesn't come there and then, when you wake up, again, as you wake up, you may get the name given to you. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much for watching and I would like to invite you to share this video um, as I'm sure there are a lot more people that would love to feel relaxed and to meet their guardian angel. And if you need help in, or, um, in finding your destiny and getting clear on your path, then I would love to be that guide for you. Reach out to connect with me as I would love to book a free 20 minute session with you. to Have a quick chat so I can find out more about you and how I can help you on your journey. Now, please join us next week on the 12th of December at 8 p.m. As I'm so looking forward to this, as I'll be having a conversation with my guest, Alexandra Wenman, who has been working with angels for so long and is full of wisdom and knowledge. And I'm so excited that she's actually going to be coming on and sharing that information with us. So 
I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you next week. Bye.